Okay. Okay. Are we Happy now ready? <laughs> Let's fucking do this, dog. You're opening. I know I am. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Give me a second. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Super Gaming Dude, and welcome back to the Cosmic Cast with your lovely hosts. As I already said, I am Super Gaming Dude, also known as Aerie. We also have with us RNMI, also known as Austin. You would not believe your eyes if Jacob said it right now, guy. And next we have Cosmic Domino, also known as Jacob. Yep. And we also have the Angry Demon, also known as Jason. I don't understand why are you doing this, bro. I haven't done this here all day, bro. You play you no matter what, bro. I don't <laughs> Bro, please, bro. Why are you doing <laughs> Man, we are dry today, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're really <laughs> bombing out here, dog. Oh my god, it's no, us. Really we're back. Hi. Give us your attention. We need it for like an hour. You'll be fine. Hi, guys. It's us. Oh, it's eleven it's at night. Us. You're not fucking tired. You're here. It's now. This is happening. This is the culture. We are the culture. Yes, we're the pop culture because we're popping right now. TikTok Why else would you be watching us right now, man? Give me your fucking money. TikTok Give us your money. Us again Give us again. your money right now. Now, who would have thought that a child-oriented platform would suppress us about jokes about grooming? Me. Who knew? Who knew? It's obvious that they're protecting them. It's, yeah. it's obvious. Yeah, it's a James Charles got people inside TikTok. Children, grooming. Makes sense. I mean, fuck. Why else would there... Why else do you think... Why else do you think um, the people coming out with stories of allegations against him then mysteriously got their entire accounts deleted? Did they mm -hmm. actually? Some. Some of them did. Oh, my God. Yeah, no fucking lie. Yeah, I think it's time to become groomers. I think they're the winning side. <laughs> Grooming Pog? Ayo? Please, nobody, nobody this you, me with this clip. Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah. Fucking Gray's already get, he's already fucking He's already got this one, dude. Too late. I'm we so disappointed it. in Gray. I'm so disappointed in Gray because the fucking bit that he took from the last episode w wasn't the one where I literally said the hard R. Are you fucking kidding me? That pissed yeah, me off so the much. Ass wait, wait, wait. Bit was funny. Hang on. So what the did he do exactly? Funny. He took the <laughs> ass eating bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it was so funny. Instead. Yeah, that was pretty fucking stupid, Gray. We expect better next time. We expect better. Yeah. You, like, you're not how, even, how on, we you're not even on payroll, but come on, man. Figure You'll be out. fired. You'll be fired still. <laughs> why do you think you're not on payroll? Yeah, exactly why. I don't know how right. we would, but we would. We got well, we got a lot today. Okay, Jacob, shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> shut the fuck up. We got a lot of okay, things. Okay, no, you showed up because we forgot to do comment of the day, and I'm cutting it in after the fact. And because I'm doing that, I'm just going to pick my own comment. I like bagels. Also, because Jacob forgot to do it in the recording session, I'll do this. Ah. We got a lot of things today. Um, where, where, what should we dive into first? Uh, I think we should obviously start with something that we talked about last, uh, last episode. That makes sense. Four, four, five. Uh, so it's been after the actual video has come out, uh, and holy shit, that video is hard to sit through. <laughs> that video is fucking vile, dude. There's so much about that video that I absolutely, that leaves me disgusted. The very fact that. That how that happened was him going to uh, to who he perceived as a thirteen year old child's house. Come on. Like, oh my god! Like, if that was an actual fucking child, God forbid, something mm -hmm. awful would have happened, man. Well, if that was an actual child, I would have blew him up with an RPG. So, oh, of course, thank obviously. you, thank GTA you for your service, style. Jacob. GTA <laughs> style, exactly. I want everyone in the comments to thank me. This man would have gotten the proximity. <laughs> Just mines. say god thank damn. you, Jacob. That's enough. They'll know why. We'll know why. Three sixty on no scope on ADP four four five. <laughs> yeah, ADP hell. more like and, ADP jump off a fucking cliff. Am I right? The, yeah, let's go. That's right, guys. I'm projecting. I. Gr <laughs> <laughs> Thought this was a joke we made fucking, earlier. <laughs> but I was fucking <laughs> fucking and the predator poachers are the most vile, disgusting. They care about everyone's masculinity. Okay, that's a joke. <laughs> but yeah, they're, I hate predator the disgusting. Hunters, bro. They're the like, fucking... stop ruining the fun. 
Dude. Are you dude, serious? Dude, no, you I was just fucking with that. you. I, I, you got I can't say that. You got problems I do tonight, man. Real quick. I, I, you know, I've talked about Justin Payne in the past on the podcast. Pretty oh sure he's my, my favorite Seven uh, minutes pedophile in. hunter. Seven yeah, minutes this in. is awful. This is awful already. But listen, Jacob. The, predator, the whole time during the interview, they're making jokes at him, and he almost fucking leaves. Like, that, there's that one joke where he's like, where he's like, this is your 600 pound life, not mine. And, <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, why would you say that? Why would you say, like, I get that it's funny, you know, but like, Come you on, don't want to ruin the interview. Like, you don't want him literally leaving. He almost fucking left. That would have ruined everything. Like, they needed, they, they got, I don't, and I don't understand. This nigga admitted to everything. <laughs> Just sat there and Whoa. admitted to everything. Well, he knows I mean, what's I, up. I, I have a theory that he thought that um, if he just came clean with everything and just like stayed up straight up said everything, then they would just uh, you know leave him and like oh. he would and he could say afterwards like I'm getting help, I'll go to therapy and I got this. You well, know, like EDP can't say that. I don't think EDP no, no. can just mouth the word therapy. It's, no, no, <laughs> that man is too he's far been gone. caught. He's been caught for this shit before. So, like, oh it's obviously not, he's not going to get help. He is yeah. only going to get worse. And he's going, and if they let him go, he would have gone and fucking found more children. And that would have been disgusting. So, and, so what's the situation right now? Like, it, like, and the, the situation right now, basically, it's, 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 uh, it's so annoying. I, I believe that he hasn't, he hasn't been, um, talked to by any cops yet or anything. Like he hasn't been uh, hunted down or nothing. He's in being investigated. He's being investigated. That's all that the police could say. He's being investigated. Okay, so as long if they can't um, if they can't find actual like uh, evidence of him like talking to like other like real children, I hate to say it, but chances are nothing will happen. Because I here's you know, the I've thing though, shit happen all they the time. have, they have like that. That's exactly like they have evidence of him talking to this. To this um to de this decoy right they have that but what is it exactly I um, vigilante vigilante uh uh predator hunters aren't uh, they usually hinder these cases rather than help them yeah a lot of the time because I'm pretty sure there's some kind of law or some shit that um very that like a lawyer could easily use to weasel his way out you know what I'm talking about um and get him off free. And it's just, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope this nigga goes to jail because he needs to. And I hope, and I hope the predator, uh, the predator poachers never, and I mean never, gain a career off of this because they are actual pieces of shit. Yeah, have they you seen? Would know that. Yeah, they had. Oh my god! And there's no shame. Hard R, no shame. And I hate it. They've said way worse shit too. Like they made. Like, have you seen a video of them making pedophile jokes? Like the the, the fucking main guy. The main fucking guy literally says like, "Oh, I have a, I have a child in my basement" or some shit. He makes a child in my basement joke to a like a random woman, to a random woman. Oh, these guys are clearly awful at what they do. These niggas are weirdos. I haven't heard anything bad come out of of CC unit. Uh, the other guy, the guy who had the mask on and like the thing, the bushy hair or whatever. That guy, he um he has his own channel and uh, he does his own shit. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad come out about him, but during the interview, he fucking sucked. He was awful, man. He kept saying the most dumb shit I've ever heard in my life. Like, he's literally said, uh, what does EDP mean? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Why are you asking that? That doesn't fucking matter. You think he's making a joke? Like, thinking it's funny? I, I probably. Fucking probably. So uh, fucking I do, annoying. Yeah, I do got to say, if you guys want some, like, real, like, better pedophile hunters that aren't dog shit at their job, uh, search up Justin Payne or Anxiety War on YouTube. They're the ones Yeah, I heard after. they're good. Justin Payne's hilarious because I don't, I don't think he does this anymore, but he's, like, jump on people's cars if they try to drive away and shit. It's so <laughs> awesome to watch. The only problem is his, his camera quality, I, I do out of it, is dog shit. Have, um, have they but, gotten you know, people arrested, though? That's, like, the big thing. I think so. At least, like, once, I think. I think one guy, for sure. Uh, one guy got arrested, uh, but he got out. You know, nothing serious happened. And he caught him again uh, doing the same <laughs> thing. So I don't know what his situation is now. And I think that video may have gotten taken down at this point. But, dude, <laughs> oh, man. This is so cringe to see because, like, really, dude, 
you you got your like get out of free jail car not get out of jail free car but you know you got like lucky you got out you're gonna fucking do it again what are you it's doing because he didn't dude? get help he didn't fucking get help they always say they'll get help they'll get help but they're fucking they're lying fucking it's psychopaths disgusting. they're lying they're yeah. just trying to fuck kids here's the thing though uh i love seeing the fucking the fucking chris hansen level shit you know chris hansen's I love fucking hilarious to watch he just walks in the room calmly and it's like yeah we sit down it's a good it's a good time, dude. I I think Chris Chris Hansen back in his prime was really good. Chris Hansen nowadays is just a shell of his former self. Why, Have what, you guys heard about those the Chris Hansen shit? What's the thing with him? So he attempted to to cover the whole Onision situation. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Fuck, yeah, I heard and about he that. fucked it up royally. We've talked about this before. We yeah, fucked we have. it up royally, and and basically got the fucking case dropped entirely because chris hansen right he was just being fucking what did he do he did he something like, stupid i can't he came remember on, he came on his property or something so he like harassed him i do remember coming he came up i remember the police call that wasn't what fucked it up i don't think i don't think that's what fucked it up i think it was how he was handling like the testimonials from the victims and stuff like that i think he did something stupid that really fucked up the whole case. I have. I would have to look into that case all over again. Wow. I think but, we talked um, about this in the past, anyways, guys. So sorry to do the callback thing. Uh, just go back and watch your fucking podcast. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> Stop being mean also to them. Sold. God damn. <laughs> hey, man, we're giving them a service. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Oh, a fucking four dumbasses talking hey, man, about we're dumb giving shit. It- no, service. we're giving this to them for free, man. For we free. Are. Well, Hello, where's our props? Free. The universe. Right. The, whatever. We deserve. We deserve. <laughs> Are you okay, bud? Are you okay? You gave up way too easy. <laughs> you sound tired. Are you good? No. Let's continue. <laughs> You're not good. You know we should do. <laughs> okay. You know- yeah. Chris Hansen sucks. Predator Poacher sucks. EDP five four four five sucks. Fuck everyone. Uh, moving on. Before we transition too far, I do want to say this is com- this is more of a off-topic kind of a thing. I think we okay. should start. I think after August twentieth, my birthday, we should do every episode on a Saturday, so I could I could fucking just be shit faced whenever we record. <laughs> <laughs> so we can, so it'll be more slurs for Austin to cut out. Or- oh my god! Like I would love thing. to see that. I would. Love well, it to get see cut that, out, dude. so. Jacob J- <laughs> Jacob develops alcoholism part seven. Let's Dude, go. Uh, the, al- the alcohol would just enhance his racism. His internalized <laughs> racism would then become externalized racism. What if it makes me better at the podcast though? Like it just makes me more we'll see, like man. mature. Uh, well, you will see. You see the. You see, grooming is bad. We all agree. Right. But. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. That's another out of context clip for you. <laughs> there you go, guys. You're welcome. Um, On a little... T- on one last tangent from me. Uh, I've always been a big fan of the thought... Of the concept of vigilantism. You know? Yeah, like, I love Daredevil, this, dude. He's a badass. Yeah. He kicked my ass once, but it was a misunderstanding. I just love the thought of someone being fed up with bullshit going on. You know? Like criminals... Or predators or anything like that. And so they just go out and try to find them themselves and either beat the shit out of them well, or, don't or, do that. or like try to try to put them in jail or try to get them arrested or something. And I you really like Phoenix the Jones. Of that. Oh, dude, heard- I, I'm, I love the story of Phoenix Jones, right. even though it ended in, in, in the worst way possible. I love I, I love the story of oh, he, he got arrested for being a drug dealer. <laughs> no way! Like, like legit, yeah. He got arrested oh, yeah. for being a fucking uh, yeah, how drug dealer. How superhero turned to crime? Yeah, it's so sad. But I, uh, I basically, love. Basically, for the people who don't know, it's uh, he used to do MMA, and uh, he was an he MMA was like a real life superhero. And, yeah, he's a real life superhero. Bro, his origin story kind of goes hard too. After his car got broken into, he found in the in like the broken glass and shit in his car. There was a mask that the guy left that the his <laughs> robber left behind. So he he just kept it, and then he just kept it for the longest time. And then uh, one day when he was walking with his friend, he saw someone getting mugged. Yeah, so he yeah. just he put on the mask and then went to go fight the guy off. And that basically started his career. That shit goes so hard, bro. From what I heard, also is that his friend was attacked near a bar, and he decided to help him. Yeah. Oh, nobody helped, and he that's what pushed him over. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. And he started a team later, but basically, apparently he's coming back in May 2021. 
Is he? That's what I heard. Like people were saying that it's like he's coming back. Oh, he's coming out of prison, or is he coming back to like vigilante? It's vigilante shit. Yeah, he's coming back in. Dude, I would, I'd, I'd follow that. I'd follow that. Is I it? like. I think. I let's think, get him on the podcast. Um, let's get him on the yeah. podcast. <laughs> Yeah, let's get Phoenix Jones on the goddamn podcast. I would actually love that. Yeah, I actually think it's pretty. It's more possible than we think. Well, it's more possible than McJuggernaut gets at this point. The fucker won't read my message, dude. I, I straight up, straight up. I, I think Phoenix Jones is the best vigilante story that we've ever had. Like in real life, that's the closest we got. You know, because have you heard like of like the actual shit that he bought? And stuff like his armor, like his armor and his suit was like ten thousand dollars or some shit. And it's like bulletproof and shit like that. And it's so then fucking he, dope. Yeah, and he got shanked at one point. too. <laughs> yeah, he oh, he did get shanked. And then <laughs> he gave an interview while he was being stitched up and said he, and he and he's like, I think he said something like um, I think he said his something like uh, for, someone asked him if. Do you have any advice for other uh, people trying to be like you? And he's like, and he said some shit like, "If you're not prepared to get stabbed like me, then I don't think you're you're ever gonna be ready." Or some shit like that. I can't remember exactly, but that shit goes hard. I've been stabbed. That I shit goes hard. I love the thought of vigilantes, and uh, yeah, that's it. Really, moving on. Sweet. I think I think um, you should introduce this. Yeah. One, so. Um... We're back on the map with Dobre the. Not gonna say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? The, the, the rhyme was there. I'm not gonna do it. Um, yeah, leave it up to your imagination. Um, you got it. David, uh, recently a video came out from Jeff Wittick, which is David Dobrik's boy. And in the video, uh, David almost killed him uh, by accident, but you know. As you do. I guess his origin story is going to go hard, too. Are they still friends? I think they are because Jeff is like, well, it's fine. It's okay. It happens. It's like it's a stunt error. I sign up then for why this. why is everyone so mad? Well, you will see. So basically, okay. David is preparing um, for the comeback from the, po from the pandemic hiatus that he did. Mm -hmm. And so... He's like, we got to do a lot of stunts because nobody has ever done this before as YouTubers. So, Jeff, you need to do 25 jumps from with a parachute to be able to have a parachute license because I want you to jump with a parachute for a vlog. So, Jeff does it. And then he's he like, David. made this nigga do that? What the yeah. fuck? And Jeff does it. And David, and they face him at one point in the video. He's like, David, can you join us for, as a friend and as the, like, the CEO of David Dobrik shit? Just to help us. And he's like, yeah. David's like, yeah, I guess it's fine. But I think I'm just going to keep playing video games while you guys get ready for the vlog reboot. What? Yeah. David's like, David just tapped out. He's like, well, it's a little, seems a little dangerous. So you wouldn't want to hurt himself, right? Oh, my God. What a little dickhead. And what then a dickhead. they do another thing is they take an excavator. They put it in the middle of like, not in the middle. Like they get it like up to the cabin into the water. And what did they do is they attach a paddle boarding thing to the excavator's like arm. And oh, they yeah, rotate this, this the is shit. the thing that I heard. So, so it's like you're basically the centrifuge force is there and uh, the person on a paddle on a paddle boat just like goes in circles around it. And it's fun. But that's not enough for David because people did it. You know, mm -hmm. the shot is good, but it's not good enough for David. David needs more, needs more juice, needs more action. What happens next? David um, picks up somebody picks up Corinna Korv. Hey, call me, by the way. Uh, <laughs> like, he attaches to the arm of the excavator a rope, and he, like, swings her left and right a little bit, and then he starts, like, swaying more and more, and she's like, put me down, put me down. I'm not kidding. Put me down right now. So mm -hmm. he puts her down, and she's like, yo, are you crazy? Are you stopping? And he just laughs it off. So he laughs at her being actually concerned for her own safety. Right. Okay? And then Jeff Wittick gets attached to the thing, and he's like, I got to do what I got to do for David. And for the vlog. So now, instead of swaying him left and right, he goes further. He starts spinning the escalator in cir oh, excavator in oh, uh, circles. Oh, nigga, no, right? nigga, no. Now the centrifuge force <laughs> wow. makes Jeff rise like at an angle. You know, like he was like perpendicular to the ground. Now he's like almost parallel to it because he's spinning so fast. And he's like, David is too fast. Now David dropped out of high school. 
or like he just finished high school. Now right. I understand the physics notions of that man are quite limited. Now let me elaborate as a science student. When you stop something rotating a centrifuge force and it, when it's attached to the arm, Jeff is not going to stop be, as the excavator as, as fast as the excavator's arm. He's going to continue his movement further. But since he's attached to the arm, he's going to just bunk swing up and hit his face on the arm. And that's what happened. Oh my god, man. He swings up like he his rope is attached to the uh, to like the the claw. Mm -hmm. And he swings up and he hits his face right on the claw on the excavator. Like what is it? Metal, yeah? Mm. yeah. And he and the next frame is it's he he falls down and his foot is stuck in the rope and and he's in the water. His face is in the water. What so the fuck, as a result dude. of that um he I think he has permanent eye damage on and oof, brain damage. Oof. Damn. Ah, ah. And let me play you the clip. Now react to that. And uh you know. Mm -hmm. let, let me play you a clip of David talking about that incident in the um, in the documentary that Jeff made, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's so it's not chilling, but it's just like it shows you the extent there's an ad playing. <laughs> it shows you the extent, so I'm st st stalling for time. It shows you the extent of how much this man is fucking literally insane. Uh, look, he, da, 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 da. yeah, so they get to the excavator bit. Where's David, 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 David? There we go. Hold on. Time literally slows down. Go to Utah Valley Hospital. Just been hurt. The whole side of his face is just open. And nobody can oh. do anything to stop it. Oh, it's so commercialized. Basically, okay, I can't find the exact clip, but David, yeah, you see him. He's like, oh my God, oh my God. He's so happy that he got the shot of the fucking his friend opening his face. Oh my God, did he really? Yeah, he's smiling in the, like even, I don't know if he, you could see, well, you couldn't because I was playing the audio, but he was just smiling about it. He's like, oh my God, his face is, hey, the time literally stopped. What a fucking psychopath, dude. The time stopped. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to lose all my sponsors. Oh my God. What an asshole. What a fucking asshole. And I want to elaborate on that too, because I've been noticing very weird pattern movements. And tell me on people on TikTok or YouTube if you guys think, um, if you notice the same. David Dobrik loves pretending to be a kid because he has as a funny bit in his vlogs of like, hey, look at me, I'm putting a kid's toothpaste because I like the taste. Hey, look at me, I'm using kid's shampoo because I'm uh, such a kid inside. I'm only 23. Hey guys, look, I'm just a kid. I couldn't be possibly p purposely hurting my friends just for the sake of content. I'm just a kid. Fucking I. Y'all saw how I did this TikTok? Y'all see how I did this TikTok? Impromptu, baby. You love your shit, dude. You love your shit. I love my Listen, shit. Listen, man. Listen, man. I think, I truly, truly think that David Dobrik is problematic as fuck. There's just, it's just too much shit has come up, out, uh, come out about him. Too much shit where he, he has this, he has fostered this, this fucking culture and, commu and community that's just like forgiving of anything that like, any fucked up shit that happens around him. Like, the fucking rape of a girl the fucking the fucking the fucking injury of his literal like one of his best friends and him laughing about it and shit like are you serious like this nigga is messed up in the head like legitimately it's crime yeah it's just crime yeah the drama is crime now what's next it's just crime dude God damn. Uh, breaking I'm news. James crying, Charles crying. is canceled for killing a man. He will be uploading his apology video at 5 p.m. Please Yo, tune in. Let's be... cancel him, bro. He killed the, a guy. What the heck? The apology will be also an NFT. <laughs> nice. Speaking of NFTs. Sorry, that, that just gave me a too too good of a fucking place okay, to Okay, yeah. What, what? what is it? Uh, Yeah, I didn't put it in the thing, but... uh. 
Chadwick Boseman. Great man. Great fucking man. Rest in great peace. actor. Rest in peace. And you want to know come how on, these on. niggas at the Oscars, I don't think it's the Oscars, it. the it. Oscars decided to just to celebrate this man's life. They made a fucking NFT. They made a fucking NFT. Are you fucking kidding oh me? Are you kidding God. me? Are you actually Wait, you serious can, right now? You can really own Chadwick Boseman? You can own Chadwick Boseman. That doesn't sit right. They gotta be. That, <laughs> that doesn't sit right with me either, dog. I hate it. I hate it here. I hate the fucking internet, man. But it, oh my god. He's a person, man. Wait, doesn't that count as? Yep. Slavery. <laughs> can you say that? Oh, can, did you just ask if he could say the word slavery? Well, not. The word, I mean, like the context of how he said it. And they I put his fine, buddy. put his hat in a box as an NF. Oh, my dude, God. I ain't the one selling Chadwick Boseman as an <laughs> right. NFT. Okay, I think I I'm think he's okay. fine. I think he's fine. Oh my God, bro! <laughs> Black Mirror just they, they. I think we just in the episode of Black Mirror now forever. They made they made the. <laughs> What? Come how on, guys! Can, how did they explain that away? Guys, seriously, guys, come out of the shadows! Come on! Ah, ha, ha, it's right. all it's all been a ah, ha, ha, episode. This, this season's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> y'all yeah. saw, saw Bandersnatch. We just took it into reality. <laughs> we're, we're just <laughs> we had a two, th two, two trillion budget, and now it's, please, you know, it's what are, what are those fucking experiments called? Uh, social experiments. Yeah, social, social experiment. experiments. It's over, guys. Come on, we yeah, cool we're now. done. Come we're on, cool. y'all play. Ah. Yeah, you, this is funny. Yeah, you were funny for like five minutes. Please ah. stop. This is this is like a teaser. What we it could have been, but it's not really that. Uh -huh. It's a what yeah, if situation. Uh, when, what do, if when, do when do we get to hit replay? When do we get to hit replay and choose yeah, different you, fucking? You, you got to hit me the replay choices. now. Come on, hit me with the replay of my reaction, and we can pack it up, baby. Come on. <laughs> I need. Oh, good please. God. Please. Like this shit is honestly just disrespectful as fuck. I don't get how they thought this was a good idea. And yeah. I I want whoever whoever fucking came up with this to seriously give out an apology because I feel like this needs one. This especially needs one. He looks so sad in the fucking art, man. Come on, <laughs> he does. Uh, I I read stuff about it. I read something about it, and um, I read stuff about it, and the fucking the fucking the fucking dude who created the NFT didn't even make the model. He didn't make the head. The head was just bought from an asset store and then just p painted gold. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not joking. That's an actual thing. I, I can find the dude's tweet and then people proving that it wasn't his creation. He bought it for $50 and he's about to make millions. Oh my God. I'm going to kill myself. I'm literally going to kill myself. There is no other <laughs> way. I'm definitely killing myself tonight. I'm like, this no, is on. I'm putting it. Hey, Siri. Set a reminder oh. for tonight for 10 p.m. <laughs> what do you want oh to be reminded God. about? To kill myself. Okay, add it to today's <laughs> reminders. You would think that they would, wow. you know, have Siri say yeah, like, "I know, I know." Yeah. Like, uh, "Hello, this is." Uh, let me redirect you to the suicide hotline, but oh well. Yeah, or something. <laughs> right, but no. But to, she just... All right, enough about this. Enough about this. And I, I just sent a tweet in the group chat. Look at the date this tweet was posted. Twenty thirteen. And the tweet reads, I'm really believing a dead pussy is a pedophile. Shaking my head. Profit. Fucking profit, dude. Fucking profit. <laughs> the one under him says you can apparently see eight years into the future. Which, crypt which cryptocurrency will have the most long-term gains? <laughs> uh, this, yeah. this, this nigga probably doesn't even use his account no more. <laughs> he does, though. He does. I already checked. Then what the fuck? Then why didn't he I say anything? Answer the question. Whoa, I don't Answer the hang question. On a second. Hang on Which a cryptocurrency? Hang on a Which second. cryptocurrency? God damn it. Someone in the comments of that tweet said, and this was 53 minutes ago, before before you EDP haters come in and slander him, oh EDP God. never oh did anything to a 13-year-old, making him oh not a pedo. Stop the EDP slander. It's not. Oh my. Yeah, is this I a woman? Is this a woman? Yes, it is. This is, this is it's a, a white woman. woman, of course. Okay, no actually, more white I don't think that's her, but... What's up? Are, uh, are you fucking serious? 
Uh, are there really going to be people out there who say like it was a decoy? It wasn't actually a thirteen year old. He never did anything with that thirteen year old, so he's not a pedophile. Nigga, this has to be bait. He thought it was. He fucking thought this it was. This has to be bait. So we're calling it. No, I'm just I'm just making a point for Jacob. Yeah. 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 We, no more white woman 2020 No more white woman 2021 No more white woman 2021 Yeah We're as I was saying uh, 20 minutes ago uh, This has to be fucking bait because someone replied To that tweet saying are you an idiot Like genuinely I'm curious and she replied Excuse me are you oh, implying I'm below you Because I'm a female Oh, um, oh my god There's a Keemstar hot take Keemstar hot take what, what do you mean Keemstar hot take What are you talking about I talk, Are you talking about the video he's talking about EDP Because yeah. it's not a hot take That is not a hot take actually a good fucking video okay he, he uh, okay yeah he he's disgusted it's a good video oh okay fucking hell uh, back on edp real quick i i you know what's actually pisses me off so much about about this fucking thing what like every time you see someone talking about it on twitter every time right these random ass niggas will come up in the in the replies and just be like, um, but the predator poacher guys suck too. They sucked. Like, look at this. Look at this information. Look, you gotta talk about them too. Both people and I'm can just suck. Like, both people can suck. Exactly. You need to realize that we need to focus on the literal predator first. Okay, enough of predators. On the literal child predator. Let's move on. We're done with EDP. I hope. Moving on. Austin. Yeah. What did Florida government do to you? Or the government saved me. You guys want to so, hear man. about this? Of course, I, I want to we hear about it. We were done telling with me telling stories, but um, this no, one's dude, kind we, of interesting. We like your so, story. Shut up. If you if you guys are not aware, recently I've been in the process of moving. Who hmm. would have thought out of the four of us, I'd be the first one to get an apartment to him himself? What was that supposed to mean? I don't know. I mean, I'm a punk. Nobody thought I'd never amount to anything. I don't know. We always <laughs> believed in you. You're but, like the best of us. Yeah. I'm the best of us. All right. I'll own that. But, uh, nah, but like, to be honest, uh, this situation here has been way, way, way too good to be true at times. And, uh, I almost really made it too good to be true because if you guys don't know, like, power companies can be really, really uh, fickle and hard to reason with. And I forgot to call the power company to turn on the service until the day I was supposed to actually move in. And um, apparently it doesn't matter how early you call them, they're still not going to do same day service. Because I literally called them first thing in the morning, like right when they opened up. So I was going to be stuck in the apartment for a weekend and not have any power for the whole Just weekend. Just in the dark with a single candle. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Um, what the fuck was that? What the I fuck was, just, was that? <laughs> just checking how many TikTok <laughs> likes we have. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, anyways. I'm sorry, I'm not scrolling fuck? TikTok. <laughs> well, anyways, um so yeah, and I was like I showed up at the at the place ready to move in. I told my landlady, okay, I forgot to turn I forgot to call the power place uh they said there's not going to be any power until monday she said all right we can't have that uh here's what we're gonna do so call, basically call the police <laughs> <laughs> i get evicted immediately but no the florida government has a law that no apartment building can be without power ever so either the that's crazy either the um the company that like owns it, the leasing company or whatever you want to call it, either they have to be paying for power or the uh, tenant has to be paying for power. But the power has to be on because according to Florida law, the AC must run enough to prevent mold or mildew, right? Okay, I gotcha. So, yeah, thanks to the Florida government, uh, she said basically we'll just bill you for the few days for power and you can move in. Good. So that's why I'm sitting right here actually recording the Cosmic Cast in my apartment instead of having to go to McDonald's or something. Damn. And uh, I don't think they would mind. 
if you just showed up with a whole with like a mic and a and a laptop or like a, a even yeah, a desktop. Like, I don't think they would but like care. The noise that'd make for a good episode. Yeah, whole whole of whole game set up in there, but yeah, yeah they'd be like a the noise. It. The noise is what would be the problem. No, it would be ambience, you know, just like somebody somebody fighting, somebody rolling a blunt on the table. Like there's a one when I used to live in a city. There's one specific McDonald's that I would walk into, and somebody would always be rolling a blunt in the back, like without without a failure. It wasn't the same person; it was just like different person every time, but like without a failure on the thing. <laughs> Wyoming is a real fucking disaster, isn't it? Okay. Let him bomb. Let him bomb. <laughs> Let him bomb. I love when Jacob bombs. Just, like, just like somebody says quietly, "Let him bomb." <laughs> Let him bomb. <laughs> Uh, are we moving on from this one? Okay, because I have something um, I want to talk about. I, I just keep coming up with fucking topics on the fly. I'm sorry, wow, Bob. He's so good. I'm at sorry that I keep doing this. Dude. Suck dick. Anyways, no, I, dude, you—that's the second rule of improv. You can't fucking shut down the improv. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, call me Carson. Oh, come on. Call me fucking Carson. I know. I know. I think, you're upset, I think it's dog. only logical that we talk about only grooming in the episode before yeah, 69. I think this episode needs it. I because think this you, 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 we guys, we guys want to. Episode 69 is very special. So you guys might want to, um, you know, we got to get all the grooming out in one episode. So exactly. Bear, bear with exactly. Us. All right. <clears throat> Call me Carson. I put out a tweet a little bit ago. Um, I wanted to gauge people's thoughts on if Call Me Carson deserved to be canceled or not. And, um, the results came out in a very surprising, um, turn of events. Let me see if I can find the tweet real quick. Hold on. All right, here it is. So a, a surprising 203 people voted. Damn. Which I'm sure were just people like, uh, searching up Call Me Carson and be like, oh, uh, poll. I'm, I must answer this. No, my 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 king Carson could never be guilty, you know, or whatever, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Um, and it came up uh sixty sixty six point five percent no, and thirty three point five percent yes. The trolls he almost deserved. fumbled the bag. The trolls almost fumbled the bag. Exactly, and um, and if you guys aren't aware what Carson did, he basically uh was very manipulative to this girl and um of to a uh, an underage fan of his uh it, yeah two year age gap blah 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 but it's still power abuse uh blah 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 um and basically and what was i i was about to say something oh and recently people there has been an influx of people saying that um call me carson is innocent like I just proved here and I finally found out why I finally found out why there was such an influx of people saying that call me Carson was innocent. Um, the person who made the original call out call out post, um, suddenly posted a tweet saying that claiming that she was just, that she was just, um, clout chasing and, and she didn't actually mean anything that she said. And uh, hold on. I can actually read the tweets for you guys here right now. Um, I have finally made a decision and just come to tell you all truly, even if it's too late, Carson isn't a pedophile. Carson isn't a groomer. Carson did not manipulate me in any way. I was only just gullible and specifically Keemstar took all the key information to prove he was. I'm an attention seeker and I deeply apologize for my actions. I ruined a man's career and should, and so should mine be too. Shame on his friends who backstabbed and shame on Keemstar for leaving key information to all Carson fan community. Carson did nothing wrong. Hashtag call me Carson. And a lot of people were very confused and a lot of people fucking celebrated this shit. Oh they were like, God. oh my God, yes! Yes, we have the information. Little Carson sheep, is I'm not. Sorry, but yeah, damn. they're fucking sheep. They're sheep. They're, they're fucking sheep, dude. And, and they're like, yes, our King Carson can finally come back. Yes! But in actuality, the person who made this call out post changed their at. And someone yeah. snagged it wow. real yeah, quick. Someone, took it and this someone is, snagged man. it, pretended to still be them, oh and put out these God. tweets. What a fucking loser. What a loser, dude. What the it's actual a good troll. shit. A, a good troll, but still loser yeah, type like, shit. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, Holy wow, fuck, man. Congratulations. You really pulled them off. You really fooled us all. You really did. Uh, you oh, really the, are them so fucking hyper sheep. intelligent. Oh, so loser type so beat. smart, dude. Loser hey, my intention was sure. not to ruin his career. All right. We, okay. You, all your chargers are lifted. Right. Fucking yeah. hell. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? Um, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is yesterday or today. It says 22 hours. That counts as. Does that count as today or yesterday? Mm, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Apparently, Call Me Carson posted on his Instagram, on his story. What did he post? It's a video of his cat playing. <laughs> He's testing the waters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like, hey, guys. Uh, He's dipping his toes. Oh, <laughs> <you> fucking <laughs> Dipping his fucking toes. He's dipping his uh, goddamn you toes, You fucking dude. loser. You're so predictable. And it's oh, a cute cat fuck. video, too. Something neutral. Something neutral. Uh, Listen, I I'm not opposed. Get the fuck uh, out of here. My yeah. whole my whole opinion on all this is I'm not opposed to Carson coming back, but I need him to prove that he is better. Like, and I need him. I need to like I need some fucking documents that he actually went to therapy, you know, and that his therapist is clearing him or some shit. Like, I don't mind him coming back, but I, we need some proof that he has made an effort to change. You know, he needs to prove that he has actually made an effort, gone to therapy, fixed how his goddamn brain works, and has made an effort to change and become better. And he needs to prove that he won't do this kind of shit again, you know? Yeah, man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what is your opinion on this? I actually want to hear it because it sounds like you don't, you don't, um, you don't want him coming back. It's not that I don't want him coming back, man. Um, What's the two? Is two year difference overall sussy? No. <laughs> I no. You got you stop. You stop no. right there. No, you no, stop no. Right well, there. no, no. I mean, um, go ahead. I'm fucking like with you. in I'm real life. Whatever. Two years is fine. Like unless it's like eighteen, sixteen is a little sussy. But like even seventeen, nineteen is is a little sussy. Yeah. Uh, was the power dynamic wrong? Absolutely. He pressured a fan who was still underage into sending him nudes. That shit is fucked up and shouldn't be tolerated by any means. Was it crazy how all of his friends who have less subscribers than him <laughs> jumped him as, yeah, as soon as the contract was lifted? So, that's so fucked, in my opinion. A little that bit part of the weird. story is so fucked. A little then, bit one weird. of his closest friends <laughs> fucking called the FBI on him. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's it's not by no means I'm comparing grooming to what I'm about to say, but yeah, J I saw Jason Jay walking, so I called the SWAT on him. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, that's so messed up. I called in oh, an airstrike fuck. on him. Yeah, I called an airstrike for Jay but walking. Go ahead, continue with what you're saying. I think that's it. Like, there's really nothing. There's really nothing. So you're not opposed to him coming back? Oh, oh about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what um, I was talking about. I don't know, man. I'm. I have no opinion on that. Like, I wasn't an avid Call Me Carson kind of enjoyer, and I'm definitely not gonna mm -hmm. keep enjoying it, especially now mm -hmm. that we know he's a male manipulator. And from what I think, from what I don't think people like that can change this fast. And how long has it been? It's been like a. A couple oh. of months, couple of months max. Couple months. Couple of man months thought. since this came out, and like I guess well, like a year or something since he did it. Um, I don't know, man. I, I honestly don't know. I kind of just don't care about him, and yeah, I'm just see, I'm just a bit weirded out by the how people reacted to it, and yeah, I feel like Carson fan base is a bit too 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 rabid. In my opinion, it's not even the but I, it's, I, it's, it's his boys that reacted to him. Like, oh yeah, see, no, that was weird. Like from one point, like I'm not defending his actions, of course, as I mm -hmm. reiterated multiple times. It's that, mm -hmm. and also makes me think that there is more, and they were just like using that as yeah, a bandwagon. Dude. Is there more to Carson <laughs> yeah. than like? Literally, that's worse? my thought. That's lit. Hold on. Sorry, cut out the silence. Uh, I got. What'd you say? Hello. I said nothing. I wonder what Jacob's thoughts are. Call me Carson. Yeah. 
literally that's that's one of the things that made me decide to start to start planning my new series that I want to do on the channel like because it feels like there's more to this like it's it's like I said before on the last time we talked about this it feels like a conspiracy theory it feels like his friends needed a scapegoat that's why the lunch like they needed a reason why the lunch club died they needed a reason a scapegoat to force everything on in order to separate you know it feels like um and they all trounced on him some less than others but they definitely all trounced on him and cut ties immediately and was like it's his fault it's his fault you know yeah, because they all did say that. They he, all did say that it was his fault that Sludge his, Club died. It is his fault, but also, what I'm thinking about is like they did all that, but was it? Did they need a scapegoat? Were they afraid to be roped in by the like the cancel crowd? Or and didn't they know this like a while they back did. before? They did. They, he said that in the yeah, meeting, in, uh, from what I understood. Um. Was there, was it weird to me that people were like, instead of, hey guys, just letting you know, I cut ties with Tar Carson a little while ago and I just, yeah, I just don't support him or his actions anyway. Was, and then other people being like composing Google Docs about how they were so disgusted with him and how they couldn't bear and how they cut ties immediately after that meeting is like, guys, I, me... For sure, I am not a groomer. Look, I am disgusted by <laughs> grooming. You know what I mean? Yeah. If yeah, I would be I the last you. person, if I had to groom, I would be the last person to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. It's a yeah, very sussy among the situation, in my opinion. Uh, I think they. I think it's a. It's definitely a little. It's a little. It's a little sus. All right, let's. I'm not we gotta run a bit longer today because we want to make up for making the previous one shorter, and we have a lot of Q and A questions. So. And we have a very interesting um, next episode. So, yep, so we're starting ready for with that. Uh, TikTok questions, bros. Let's run up on the... Wait, no, we have a couple more topics. What's the... Uh, I think just one last one. Yeah, one last one. Oh, no, two more. Fuck. Two more. Uh, I'm going to do this quick one and get it out of the way. Idubs is getting married. Okay. Oh, boy. I, I feel like people, some people would want us to mention it. Um, yeah, Idubs is getting married to his girlfriend, Anissa. Uh, good for them. All right. Moving Sometimes on. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> simply gets you the girl. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I do. do, you have, do you, uh, Austin, do you have anything to say about it since you're, uh, you were a pretty big Idos fan? I, I assume. I would like to say that I wish that I cared. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and speaking, and speaking of Idubs, uh, edgy content slash edgy humor on YouTube. And we also have a Queen A question from Discord that says by Flynn, what do y'all think about Phil Frank in a modern perspective? So I think that's those two go together kinda. The discussion about Yeah, that. perfect. Um let's actually answer the filthy Frank question and then I'll move on to what well, I'm yeah, saying. It kinda comes with uh, it. Yeah. It's aged. It's definitely has aged. I'll answer this. Go for it. I would love to see Filthy Frank try to God damn it. God damn it. Content. God damn it. Today's landscape. The content that he was making would never fly it on wouldn't. YouTube It wouldn't. It really wouldn't. And I think Leafy proved that. The fuck <laughs> it's the fuck it's the H3 copy pasta he's doing. <laughs> he's doing that. Yeah, yeah this, you bro. just realized that. <laughs> you can't even bake hair into cake, bro. <laughs> you, you can't, like, sp spill chicken hearts all over your apartment. Oh, uh, you can't vomit on screen anymore, oh dog. Oh my god, bro. He really would vomit on screen, huh? I definitely think it has aged quite it's aged quite poorly. Um a, a lot of the content, but a lot of it like his his music, his comedy music just straight still slaps. It still slaps in my opinion. Gonna, it's still I funny. Never it to still it sounds album, good. I want to give it a give it a shot. Uh what's it called? Pink, yeah, the pink, pink, pink something. album or something like pink that. Pink season. Pink season, yeah, it that's a, a really that's nice a good cover, album in my I, opinion. I, I like the car, pink. I like pink cars. It goes hard. It goes hard. That's a good I'm album. My, that's I'm I gonna make my prowler pink. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm um, speaking of that. Nice, so, nice way to fucking oh <laughs> oh. There's a random person driving the same car that Angry Demon drives. I wonder who that person is. <laughs> 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 who is this gentleman? 
<laughs> now, that is a very famous car that has been appearing in musical, the Cosmics music videos and vlogs driven by the celebrity, the Angry Demon. Now, I am wondering now, who is the driver of this car? Who is who's, this driver? Who's driving this recreationally like an owner of the car would drive a car? I guess we'll is never know. Driver Somebody something? stole the Angry Demon's car. <laughs> Someone stole it. I'm arrest him. Wait, is that what I'm you're going to do, dude? Airstrike, 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 airstrike. Dude, is that what you're going to do when someone like eventually walks up to you in your car and you're like, oh my God, is that the Angry Demon? Nah, nigga, I stole this. <laughs> 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 and then you go and you tweet out, oh my god, my car has been stolen. <laughs> my fan just reported like, my as car you're stolen. driving As you're driving away. They're tweeting with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey Siri, send tweet. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Oh, back on topic though. Uh, edgy content and slash humor on YouTube. Uh, I think. No. I, I wanted to get I I, I asked this because I put this on the topics because I wanted to discuss it with you boys. I wanted to ask what are your thoughts on this on the era of twenty 16. was it twenty twelve, twenty sixteen? That whole era of um edgy edgy humor and edgy content and how it relates to nowadays and what are your thoughts on it I, that's my question i to definitely you guys. think it's intertwined with the cancellation like galore right now with like oh the your show has villains in it oh yeah kind of problem for sure it's definitely sure. like a sway back sway sway like you know it's like a mm -hmm. what you call that thing like, like a metronome um a metronomia um, yeah a pendulum yeah like, oh, a pendulum yeah it's pretty much like that, a pendulum is a better yep. description. But um, yeah, I definitely feel like it's like that. And one, like, will it swing back? And when will it swing swing back? Like, uh, the real the cool, real question is not if the, the real question is when will it this swing? This question back? is yeah. when. Uh, yeah. like, I don't, I'm not, I don't think like that. I don't know if it will ever swing back. Um, and like, it might just take a long gonna, time. Everything is gonna fly. Um, I think it will take a long time. Yeah, and people will just not care. Um, I feel. Because during this era, uh, I, I, I'm sorry that I keep bringing this fucking website up, but Tumblr was still, you know, it was still like where these kind of people resided, really? you know? I yeah, know. no, yeah. So, yeah as to, like, I, literally, I look it up. I must have like, been on the wrong side of Tumblr because all that shit, my shit was just all about gay shit. I mean... Talk about oh, you think I'm talking about edgy stuff? You think I'm talking about edgy stuff? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, I'm not talking, talking about edgy about stuff. The, I'm talking about the, the canceling people yeah, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, like, then, ooh, yeah, wholesome okay. cancel That's for sure. shit. Yeah. yeah, they resided on Tumblr and didn't really move out of there. Like, they didn't go on Twitter, so they didn't. They didn't have a platform that was popular enough for them to call this shit out. I saw a couple uh, threads like that on Tumblr. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why this content was, in my opinion, like pretty much allowed to thrive especially since youtube didn't really care they were fucking a, the wild west yeah, back they, then they were still trying to figure out how to like make a video in 1080p upload mm -hmm. and they weren't really they weren't being called out like um there wasn't an ad apocalypse or anything being called out you know no that never happened go in there yet exactly they didn't care what was the, the videos were being posted on and youtube didn't care what channels were getting monetized as long as you had like a a, not a, a certain amount of subscribers um they would put monetization on you you know they didn't care so this content was allowed to thrive and succeed and um a lot of it was funny a lot of it was not a lot of it was fucked up uh and nowadays you it's been scrubbed off the internet it's basically been scrubbed off the internet the only really edgy youtubers that you see nowadays are the people still playing csgo and uh for csgo funny moments you know I mean, fits uh, yeah. swagger souls yeah those niggas and um i think i think swa swa there's a moment of like i think misfits kind of thrived on that like in the that in, oh, the, yeah, in, for the, in sure. the era of uh, everybody being so politically correct here we are saying hard r's on on uh csgo surf servers for sure for sure i think they're at least they did for a bit but nowadays they kind of they all kind of dipped oh yeah i think for sure like when um tiktok drops you as a, as a sponsor i think that you kind of have to reevaluate your shit because mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we were at pax actually i talked to ryan p really quick and i was like yo man i'm really mm -hmm. happy how'd you get the sponsorship for tiktok and he said oh i had a guy on the inside can I say that now that I think about it? Yeah, fuck it. Who's listening to this? You're fine. It's cool, not. Cool, he like, didn't get, make you sign a contract cool, cool or anything. Cool to this, yeah. Uh, but you know, like, yeah. um, 
I'm sure Ryan P doesn't listen to this. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I had a guy on the inside and we arranged a quick deal. So when TikTok was getting big, we got misfits to promote it. But then TikTok quickly saw who they were and dropped them. So uh, Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah, and... I, I like you said I I think that edgy content and humor will swing back and it will thrive really? again. Um yeah, I do. I truly but do. But it'll be different. It will be different. It will be a different kind of edginess. How how different and do you think it'll be? It will just a full on racist. But like I don't <laughs> Hold on. They're going to fucking but like, I think we're actually in the process cuz have you guys ever seen like TikTok comments like ever? This shit Barely. is the most misogynistic and like racist shit. Oh, you know, I remember, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. there was an yeah. NBA player who was getting his his face taken pictures of, um, like you know, like a, um, like Photoshop? like a big oh, big ass rig, and it like like thirty cameras taking pictures of you from all angles to like render you in a game, and mm -hmm. people were like saying, "Oh, he's preparing for the George Floyd simulator." Oh God. I was like, I had to sit down. I was like, is like, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, oh, he's he's gonna play the Franklin in the new game. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. But the thing is, like that sort of that sort of humor is like kind of being pushed underground. What we're saying is that it's gonna swing back to where somehow that's gonna sort of become revitalized and sort of. Uh, dig itself yeah. out from under but that's what the, I'm saying yeah race. it's already in the process of swinging back it's already you know? in the process yeah I get you yeah and those t those comments that you said they get likes they get tolerated you know, they, as fuck they get they get yeah they get likes they get um people um are, are engaging with it in the comments so they're like damn I can't wait to buy George Floyd simulator <sighs> next week <laughs> dog <laughs> holy shit oh fuck um, but I just wish there would be balance. Yeah, I do too. I think there should be a sort of balance between that ooh wholesome cancel shit and the um edgy fuck you n word um not n word but, you know what I mean but uh, but um shit but I, real like not putting on a face mm -hmm. sort of thing yeah not putting on a face for the I camera. feel like people I feel like Genuine. as soon as the internet realized that jokes exist. I think we'll coexist. I think we'll coexist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think we should all just uh, start putting then the uh, slash J and slash original gangster as our shit. So <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like I've I've like myself. I definitely think I found a balance between like um, edgy and and um, wholesome. Blah blah I mean, blah. We're not doing so like, bad ourselves yeah I we're think. not we're not we make uh, some we make some fucked oh, up somebody, jokes a lot yeah, but we're about to get so to be continued motherfucker <laughs> with this clip <laughs> yeah this whole AP. we make some fucked up jokes but we also yeah. like we are able to call out these uh, fucked up people you know and we do other. that we know we know and the each fucking other. and each other exactly and each other we know that we have a balance i feel like each of us have achieved okay, a balance enough, of that enough sucking dick <laughs> uh, dude i love it i love the taste but um, I just hope like the in the inter the internet as a whole figures it out, and we finally are able to just enjoy edgy humor on the internet without being called problematic for it. That's all. Somebody got a coin. Someone got a coin. Did you just say? Yeah, we can toss it and heads or tails. Uh, we do either Q and A from Discord or TikTok, or should we just read them and do just all of them? Just start with TikTok. All right. All right. Um, thoughts on ferrets? I don't know. They exist. They exist. They do yep. exist. They do. Moving on. I, wanna take, I, wanna, I wonder if you can take them and like you like swing them like a lasso because they're so flex. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. They are flexible as shit. I, I've always wondered if I could just like roll one out with like a rolling pin, you know, and then what? they would be fine. <laughs> you cut out in the most parts. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, your shit auto censored. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear oh, what no, I said? The, Did you not hear what I said? No, no. It's the Intel sensor. The, the, Intel, the bleep Intel bleep. Intel, Intel bleep, bleep has got me already, dog. Computer oh, no. turned off the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going full misogynistic today, man. Computer, I'm computer feeling a little misogynistic today. Computer, turn on the misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Favorite TikTok song? No that is a terrible question. I hate this question no so much. No more white woman 2020. No more white woman 2020. We're putting it on top song. of the TikTok yeah. charts. Yes. 
at some point. You know what? Actually, I'm going to start posting on TikTok again. I'm only po going to post with that song and I'm just going to watch people be like, <laughs> um, actually, this is super racist. Like, um, how guys... This is exactly yeah. what Ari was talking don't about. You know, don't you know, people? You can't be racist against white people. So, uh, we're right. You're wrong. Ha ha. Anyways. Uh, My favorite you... TikTok song is the one that goes Eminem and M -M 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 like that. Corvette, Corvette. Uh, I actually I actually hate this question because uh, fuck you. They're not TikTok songs. They're songs. Uh, eat my dick. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go to another room and do it. Oh, we're not huh? doing this bit again. We're not doing this bit again. I think no, you no, misunderstand. Enough, enough. I think you misunderstood. I'm messing. Like, okay there. I'm messing. I'm messing. <laughs> uh, next question. I got this one, boys. Don't worry. Uh, if you want to answer... Do you guys make any money from podcasts? No. Not yet. No. Not yet. We're close. Someday. We're yeah, we are actually very close to getting monetization on this channel. And um we're very excited that, for that. We're gonna have a big celebration for it. Maybe a live stream, who knows? And um So please watch a lot of episodes. Yeah. Like actually, everyone watching right now. Put on a playlist. Yeah. Go to the playlist right now and watch Come every on. single one of Come our old on. videos right now. <laughs> Right yeah, now, put it, uh, download a VPN uh, while you're sleeping. Let it play on all your four devices. Put it, mm. on, get your grandma on. Uh, we need that watch time, baby. We're getting paid. I don't care. Tell your friends about us, man. Tell your friends. No, actually, like, yeah, if, tell your friends about if us. If you guys really enjoy, us. if you guys really enjoy our content and you want to see us do this more, and uh, and you would like to somehow comp like help like uh, provide for us and compensate us. Just just share this around. If if this gets enough enough attention, we can actually hit uh, monetization, and we have a plan to do something in the future that might give us um a bit more of monetization, and we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. We can do more content, and I bet you'd like what we have in store. Yeah, we just need the infrastructure. Yeah, set it on um set it on two times. Oh once. damn, that episode is doing really good. What the fuck? Yeah, it is. Like I, I saw it literally earlier today, and it was like at a around a hundred. Sorry. All right, set it on two times watch speed. Yeah, just okay, speed through it. En enough, enough of Justin Bieber yummy technique. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it, do it. Uh, who wants? Uh, you know Jacob, have you it. introduced? Yeah, actually, do it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, do it. <laughs> Jacob, you can introduce this one. This next one. My next one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> come on. Um, <laughs> this guy asked, "Do you do you all have girlfriends?" Yes, I do. Nope. What? No, only Ari. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm, just, I, I think I can take me. this next one as well because I'm very um, illiterate when it comes to this. Um, is anyone gay? Illiterate? No, 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 no. It's not. Is anyone gay? It's asking. Is anyone gay? I'm so glad you did that. I'm so glad. I. God damn it, Austin! I the love you. The answer is. I'm the illiterate. answer is. No one in here. No one here is. Gay. Jason yeah, is actually, gay. He's not gay. gay. He can be gay and like cars. Like get with the program. <laughs> Poor cow. Yeah, we we have yeah. we have some faggots among no. we have some faggots among us. Sussy <laughs> <laughs> among us. Sussy Sussy among, among us. Okay, that's getting <laughs> No, it's <laughs> not! Oh, Fuck you! No, it's not! No, it's not. Yeah, you can say it fuck is it. Really. No? Yeah, he can say. He can say. Censored. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking bi. I like penis. Who would go to prison first, and for what crime? Uh, I think Jason would for killing a Mister Girl. Okay, that's pretty fair. Yeah, okay. that's actually very uh, sincere reply. I like that. <laughs> sincere. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now, yeah, I kill him. <laughs> now on to the Discord. Uh, Discord. Each of Discord. You. Is there anything good? Member of the Cosmic Cast. Oh, each of us. Okay, okay this is going to be a first. hard one. Me first? Okay, uh, my favorite member of the Cosmic cast has to be Jason because he I've known him the longest and he is my best friend. Damn. I love you, dog. Okay, Austin? Ari. Yo? Hey, yo? Explain. Jacob? Uh, no, let him explain. I want to oh. hear this why. <laughs> why? Why do you? Why am I your favorite? 
Affirmative action. <laughs> what does no. that mean? What does that mean? I'm just no. kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just uh. kidding. Uh, I mean, I wasn't planning to, but I guess like because of what you said earlier about having that balance. Aw. Aw. I guess. But like, Jacob, also, your what laugh is you? hilarious. What'd you say? My laugh is hilarious? Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Jacob, turn. I'll let you go. I'll let you go before me, Jason. No, no, you go. You go first. You go first. Okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of Jacob, but my son. Uh, sorry, it's gonna be a little biased here. <laughs> Who is his favorite? I'm sorry, my girlfriend was saying something. Jacob Bot. Jacob Bot. His, his <laughs> son. Good. Of course. Uh, my favorite member is um, is everybody. Man, I love. Oh everybody. God! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> you actual asshole. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need you to explain oh, that what a in, cop a, in a what college a cop discussion out. post form. Uh, I, I don't need, have favorites. I, mean, I need you. You can't. You can't just uh, give your answer. You know, you have to explain yourself See, in three um, whole paragraphs. Yeah. I just love everybody. I love uh, Jason because he's so smart and he just you know, he's the person who got this on the map. I Yo, bro, Jason at least wipe the cum out of your mouth if you're gonna be sucking your own dick. He's pretty funny. Jason is also really funny. Um, I feel Jason is pretty good <laughs> as uh, like a coordinator of the cast. He's really nice. There's three um, reasons for Jason already. Yeah, uh, and everybody else is cool. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, that's such a great post. Can yeah. I ask you? Uh, you know what? Never mind. I love the sentiment. We're done with this. We're done with this. No fucking hell. Me and him. Uh, wait, hold on. Before, discussion. before, uh, Austin, uh, uh, Mari has said that you're her favorite. I saw that coming. Yay, dude! I swear to God, if you steal my girlfriend There's from me, I am going to here, kill clearly. you, myself, and her. Can you kill me what while you're at she it? Do? <laughs> In <laughs> fact, kill me first. Aaron. I just said if you stole her, I'm gonna kill us all. I'm dude, gonna be on that gonna, psycho he's boyfriend. He's literally shit. gonna go me. Trojan War on us. Yeah, dude. Trojan. Oh, nice. Nice historical reference. Like like a virus? You fucking dumbass. Did, did this nigga just... Did this nigga just... Did this nigga just... Did this nigga just... Bro, how tired are you right now? How tired are you right now? Great, please clip that. <laughs> Jacob, explain yourself. How tired are you right now? I'm not tired. It's more of a... um. Like, I'm just, like, trying to get clarified because, you know, there's some illiterate people who are watching the podcast who don't really know oh, yeah. what Trojan some. means. So, some. I want to be I want to be on their side. You know, I want them to understand that, like, there are others like them. <laughs> okay. He's pandering. He's fucking <laughs> pandering. I'm here for you guys. Respect. Uh, not, the tro Represent. not the fucking Trojan virus, you fool. So, like, herpes? Oh, my God. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. No, no, uh, no, next no, Q &A no, question. no, no, no. Have you guys been pinning them? Yeah, they're in the pin. And there's one I'm looking at right now. Uh, don't, let me get this one. next one, though. Let me don't do this do, next one. Don't do the one, boy. The moon man. Don't do it. I'm going to do moon man. I'm going to do food. I'm going to do moon man. No, fuck okay, no, moon man. Uh, Top three tips on not getting canceled. Top three tips on not getting canceled. Don't speak. <laughs> I love I love how the reply to that from Funny Man is, don't be Jacob. Don't be racist. <laughs> and don't be Jacob. Why'd you just wow. say Jacob's name three times, man? You know, it's funny, so I, was, I was also going to say, don't be me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, uh, but yeah, I'd say uh, a good way of not being canceled is... Never talk. Don't pretend... Ever. No, never talk. Agreed. Just just be a montage channel, and even then... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be a top tens channel, dude, and hire someone else to be to run it. Never interact with any other human being. Don't interact yes. with kids. Be a recluse. Oh, you talking to kids? Seems kind of sussy. Uh, kind of problematic. Sus. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude's a fucking teacher. He's a fucking teacher. Yeah. Yeah. No How adult dare you has speak should to these children. It's like the tweet: No, no adult should should ever have a reason to talk to children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You want to learn? That's tough. Uh, yeah. That's tough. Uh, but, child abuse. Child abuse. Child abuse. But for real, I have like a couple tips. Uh, one, don't uh, pretend to be someone you're not, like because me. then that'll give someone the false in uh, all false. The, all the actors like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> no, but come seriously, on. like seriously, don't try to be, don't try to be someone like um, that you're not, because it would give someone a false, uh, 
what's the word pretense about you impression or some shit like that impression thank you a false impression of you and hopes and yeah and they'll might they might put you on a pedestal and if you do something that goes against this image they have of you they're not like some people on this on the internet are like not mentally well to handle that and they'll just They'll just realize they'll just think you're you just lied to them their whole lives Stand. and and they'll try to cancel you. They'll say you're problematic, you know, and I've seen it happen again and again and again. Happy and dream. uh that's one of my tips. Uh Yeah, that's I'm only going to give you one. I'm sorry. That's all I got. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. That's mine. You guys have any serious ones? Or are you going to make another joke? I've never joked before. Don't joke. That's his. Yep. Don't joke. Yeah, yep. just be a be a to- be a top 10 channel. Um, yeah. Oh, even everything. then, there's still like you know, yeah. some concerns. Um, yeah, you put a you put a child on the first place of the top ten top ten <laughs> children. Mm, top ten problematic. It's kind of sussy. Kind of sussy. Suck me oh, among us. Okay, okay. If you make a video called "Top Ten Children," you're fucked. I hate this fucking bit so much. I'm so mad that he got me got me into that. Mmm, saucy. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Did this nigga really do a fucking Yoda voice? Okay, Moon Man asks, mm. are you guys still fermenting piss after the whole fermented <laughs> piss debacle on the ship? <laughs> yes. Why would they they are. do let it? We are going to make die. it work. Please let this bit die. Please let Amen. this bit die. Please let this bit die. The people want to know. Please let this bit die. <laughs> the people want to know. Please let the fermented piss bit die. The you know what? Fuck you. I'm changing my name. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> to fermented piss. <laughs> Why is this for Aries context? In Discord, his name right now is Black, Black piss. piss. I don't fucking know. I'm changing it now. Anyways, <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, that's all we got for today. Is it Thank really? You Wait, for I didn't watching. get to ask a Discord question, did I? Okay, ask a Discord oh, yeah, question. Um. Let's see. Do you prefer the newer generation of consoles and games or older? Uh, that's actually a really good question. I I love video games, so I love these kind of questions. Uh I love the graphics of the newer game of the newer consoles. Like the games look stunning. Miles Morales is one of the most beautiful video games ever released. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales is one of the most beautiful video games ever released. That You're shit one of the is most actually stunning. People in the world. Dude, I will fuck you right now. Don't. But seriously, that game is beautiful. But you really can't beat the classic fucking gameplay of the older of the older consoles. Like fucking uh the SNES has some of the best RPGs ever made. The SNES has some of the most classic games ever made. You know, I am calling it SNES. SNES, S N E S. I'm not going to say the whole thing. Just SNES. Okay. Yeah. It's it's faster. But yeah, it has some of the most classic games ever made, and um, and the gameplay of them is it aged so well. It's Chrono Trigger is my second favorite fucking RPG of all time, and it aged so well. What 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 was um was Mother Three on the NES or SNES? It was on the Game Boy. Well, Game Boy. Say that. Yeah. Really? That's part Those of graphics? the reason. That's part of the reason why it didn't get do uh Game Boy Advance. By the way, not the original. Oh, okay, Game Boy. GBA. GBA. But um, yeah, that's part of the reason why it didn't do so well, because Nintendo was really pushing the DS at around the time it came out. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. anyways, yeah, that's that part game of the is like the most localized. that game is like has the best style of all the other games in my opinion. I haven't played it, but I've seen like actual f- screenshot and footage from it. That game is stunning. That's a good fucking game. yeah. That's I'm a good looking I'm game. playing I'm playing through it right now actually. But dude, oh, English speaking of that one, we should all like play it because. It genuinely has something for each of us, all right? I've been mm. thinking about this, and, like, it has a Racism. femme fatale waifu for Jacob. Nice. It has a really cool RPG battle system for you, Ari. Let's like, go! It, it actually, it's it's kind of unique. You can combo hit if you uh, time your hits up with the beat of the Ooh. music. Ooh! Isn't that cool? Uh, That's it sexy! Has, it has non-binary representation and anti-capitalist themes for Jason. Well, what's Let's up? go. Anti- anti-capitalist themes. Hold on a second. You got me fucked up. <laughs> that perked his ears what up. What game is this? And the, Mother 3. The best OST of all time for me. So, yeah, it literally has something uh, for everyone, fuck. man. And I love good music, too, so that's also that's also for me. You tell me I, I, you can't, you tell me I can't dismantle capitalism in this game? <laughs> hey, fuck man, yeah, I got, dog. I got, better, I got something better for that, man. 
I got you free download of emulation software and a ROM, so you don't give Nintendo any money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to pay Nintendo. You can literally can steal money from their pocket. Free? Yeah, you wouldn't dude, even you have to get no VPN and go to and go to Japan just to download it from the Japanese Switch store or whatever because yeah, fuck it's not vocalized. But free. yeah, you yeah, but just but use the, the, if you know <laughs> if you know what I do, <laughs> you could just dude, get that- the ROM. And uh, get the ROM of the translated version. I could send that right now, actually. Fuck yeah. Mm. Dude, that literally gave me an idea for a thing we could do. We could just have, like, Cosmic Cast game nights or some shit where we one of us picks a game and we do a quick little playthrough of it, maybe, on, and we can run it for a bit. And then we can switch the games and we can just, Give us you know, money, we can man. do a little series. Give us money, man. I can't do my job anymore. <laughs> I, can't. I can't, man. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this man hates capitalism. This, this man's struggling. This man's struggling. <laughs> struggling. You can't like Holy him. fuck. All right. I call picking the first game in that. Is we're that gonna, Mother 3? going to be Mother 3? Uh, no, I'd rather we play through that on our own. But um, the <laughs> one that we're going to play and like on that night is Mario Kart Double Dash. Because we're oh, going to play some Bubble yes. Blast. We're going to play oh, some Bob-omb Blast, the yes. funnest Mario minigame of all time. Oh, dude, that is Anybody fun. that's ever played Mario Kart Double Dash knows, like, bob on Blast, that is where it's at, man. It is so fun. Me too, I like Taco Bell. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Like, Baja Blast, you know, I don't know. Okay, I get it. It's, it's ba- bomb on bomb on not Baja, but that's good. I like that bit. Well, that was a good thank bit. Thank you, man. Nice. All right. <laughs> no problem. I'm Living glad I could explain cast. it for our audience. Oh, we've been the cosmic Whoa. cast. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Thought, uh, huh? Uh, is the alert is going off? What the hell's going on? Huh? What? The Amber alert's going wait. off. Yo, there's an enemy ship on the horizon, man. Or what not the on the fuck? horizon, but you know, right in front of us. Wait, is that? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Ken. We got him. Oh, we got him. Fire, fire rockets. Fire rockets. Fire rockets. Right now. Fire. 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 Jason, get on the guns! Hurry up! Fucking fire! Jacob, what are you doing, man? Oh my god, you guys have no effort in this shit. What the fuck? Jacob just opened the window and shooting with the shittiest blast. It's <laughs> <laughs> not even hitting the ship. It's not like five sex before it even reaches it. I forgot to charge it. Jake. He's on one percent. Yeah, fuck you, Cody. Listen here, Tiny Me <laughs> Gang. We declare war on you. You're stealing our 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 fucking clout. You're stealing our bit. We're the only space themed podcast that ever should be on the internet. We're coming for you, dog. We already fired upon your ship. Oh we'll yeah. We'll fire more. Your ship is named Candace. Well, our ship is named Matcha. Matcha be dick in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> that is not actually the name of our ship. <laughs>